Welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester, and today I have another outdoor craft for you. Yeah. Ooh, watch the coffee cakes. <laughs> you know, when you look in magazines, you see these really beautiful gardens with lovely tables, are beautifully set out and ready to entertain. I always think I really want that too. And Kik is making a lot of noise in the little mud kitchen at the moment. Um, <laughs> And I was thinking, I would say for my next house I want that. We don't want a nice table we can entertain friends on and I can work on. I was thinking, why do I always say in the next house? Why not just do it now? Because we're going to spend so much time in our back garden this summer with the whole lockdown and everything. Why not just do it now? I have a very small deck though. So I have to just tweak everything and work out how and if a table would fit here. But I think if I just do some creative thinking, I might be able to fit a table here. Once again, I just want to use the timber I already have. I got some padded wood left in my shed, so I'm going to use that. And the lovely people from the hairpin leg company send me these beautiful hairpin legs that are very resistant, so I can leave this table out all year long. So I haven't got a clue. Oh, kick it, kick the tripod. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to build this table yet, so I'm just going to make it up as I go. But yeah, come along and see how I'm going to build my table. So this is my little deck, it's not big, and I used to have another piece of bench there, I just took it away just to see how the space is, that's our um, table. And I can't make my mind if I'm doing a circuit table or a rectangular one. So the table I'm going to build now is going to be the first build of our little deck makeover. It's going to be a couple of videos, so this place is going to be completely transformed. So these are pallet wood planks I have, they are 137 centimeters long nine and a half centimeters wide and one and a half centimeters thick ideally you probably on a thicker plank but this is what i have so i'm gonna make it with this so i'm really squinting here in the sun um i think i'm just gonna glue the table together and use these half bit planks i have as cross braces and then i have these beautiful hairpin legs I'm gonna use as the little leggies so yeah let's um go and see i think i might start using the full length of the plank make the table top and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut it to size. I know we don't do any building, a little Miss Kiki here. I normally do it when she's playing with her dad, but he got called out for some work. So I'm just gonna start while she's here. Uh, I'm not gonna do any cutting or sanding while she's here. I'm gonna do all the sanding of the timber later when the table top is built. But I think I can do the gluing and some screwing while she's here. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start by seeing which side of the plank is nicest and I'm going to use that on top while Kiki singing songs. Um, yeah, just have to look out because it's very rough and you have quite a lot of marks in there. So I'm just going to use that down. I also just measure this. This is 30 centimeters almost. I think I might go double this width so I might go six planks wide. I think that will be a really good fit on my deck here. Yeah, building while looking after Kiki is going great. <laughs> she fixed my workbench. It's a picnic table. And the tabletop is actually a real table already, so she put it in use with her, um, with her smoothie. Hey, Missy Moo? You gonna help mommy? Is it beautiful already? Oh, good stuff. So I've got all the planks now with the wrong sides facing up. Mom. And now we're gonna glue them together. Yeah, so that was the last bit of Kiki uh, helping, <laughs> food in the glue. What you do, you spread the wood glue out on the side of your plank, and then you press the planks together. And the same goes for the sides of the third plank. So these are clamped together, I'm going to leave them for 30 minutes or so. It's a plump on there because one of the planks is a little bit warped, so just a bit of weight on there while it sets. Unfortunately, I can't glue those together just yet, because I only have two clamps that fit, the other ones are all too short. So I think just um, time for a tea break. Now let's do the other three.
and I'll let this dry for 30 minutes. I cut these little cross pieces to 55 centimeters and I pre drilled little holes in them, sort of five per plank, and now we're going to glue and screw these to the bottom of our table. Sort of doing this 10 centimeter for the edge, so there's space here for the table legs. And here I'm going to leave 20 odd centimeters because we're going to make this a nice little curve. some of the glue marks and then we can flip our tabletop over. There you go, tabletop. So I said in the beginning not knowing I was going to make a rectangular table or a circular one. So I was thinking circular first because Kiki plays on deck a lot and when there's no corners she can't hurt herself when she falls over or walks into the table. But also I think circular takes up quite a lot of space on my small deck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep one end straight, but the other end is going to have a nice semicircle. Best of both worlds, eh? I want my table to be roughly 120 centimeters. So what I've done, on 110 centimeters, I made a mark. Also mark what's the middle of the table. And I'm just going to draw a soft curve to go from this mark to that mark. If you're very precise, you can of course do this uh, with a template, but I'm just going to hand draw it. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to put this bit of timber on the other side, mark it, and then that side is perfectly the same size as this side, hopefully. That side cut, I'm just going to put these here. Tracer, and it's the same on that side. This end's pretty straight, we're just gonna neaten up a little bit. I'm going to use the orbital sander and the palm sander on this. Ideally, I would just use the orbital from the main bulk of this, but I only have a really fine paper on there at the moment. So I'm going to use the palm sander first because it's more coarse. Do the edges to the top and then go in it with the orbital one and then finish it off with a very fine grit on the palm sander. I wish you could feel this. It's so silky soft. Let's brush off all the dust. And it's time to paint. There's two paints I want to try. One is a plain white one. The other one is got a really nice pale pink. It's called Antoinette by Annie Sloan. I'm gonna water down. I think maybe a quarter water, three quarters paint and see how that looks. And so you could try it out on the bottom of your table, because nobody's going to see that anyway. Let's put a bit of water in there. No, oh, and on the table. Mix it in. This is my old little paint bucket, that's why it's grey. But um, and then we'll do. And let's have a little look-see. You know what, I think that's really nice. I'm not even going to try the white, it's very pale anyway. It's lovely to see a bit of the texture of the paint, of the table coming through as well. So yeah, let's just go with this. So this is the Annie Sloan chalk paint Antoinette, and I'm just going to water it down a little bit. Like I said, I reckon it's three quarters paint, one quarter water. 
I'm gonna paint this let it dry and then I'm gonna paint the top. I'm gonna let that dry, have some dinner and then do the other side. Um, I'm quite curious to see how it's gonna dry. It could be all patchy which could be really nice because a nice little worn effect on the table or maybe it's a bit even. Let's wait an hour and have a look. Let's finish my dinner and it's nearly dry. I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna flip it over and paint the top. I think it looks really nice. I love how I have a bit of texture of the timber coming through. I'm gonna let this dry. I saved a bit of the paint just in case I do some touch ups, but I don't think it needs any other layers. So it's gonna play with Kiki a little bit, put it to bed, and then I might come back and see if the paint's dry. If it's dry, I'll pop the top coat on as well, so fingers crossed it's dry. Otherwise, I have to do that tomorrow. Paint is dried, and I think it looks really good. I really love this color. And what I'm gonna do now to make sure it's good for outdoor use is I'm gonna put a top coat on top, and I'm using Annie Sloan lacquer in matte finish. Didn't fancy waiting for the top to dry before I could do the bottom, so I just put it against the wall. Hopefully, it's fine. And do the bottom as well. Let's come back in two hours. Morning! So it's the next day. I did do another coat of the lacquer of the top coat last night, it was too dark to film. So let's have a look and see how it has dried. Kiki! <laughs> she said to film you. We're looking at the table, Kiki. I think she dries really nicely. I need to cheese you. There we go. Should we look at the table now, Kiki? Cheese! <laughs> there she is. She dried off night. And the thing looks really nice. Because I dilute the paint with water, you see a bit of timber coming through. And the thing looks really nice because I don't like an even overall tone. It looks a little bit more distressed now, which I think is lovely. Yeah. Only thing is, where I apparently puddled the paint a little bit in the lacquer, in between the planks here, it's gone a bit crackly. Um, don't know if I'm going to keep it like that. I might just send it down and give another coat. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, I think it's time for the legs. Got my little over here. You measuring for the legs, Kiki? These are the hairpin legs the hairpin leg company kindly sent me for this project. They are beautiful and they're zinc, so they're 100% waterproof, so the table can be left outside all year long. And they come with these screws to attach them, but these are just slightly too long for my table because it's a thinner pellet wood. I'm just going to use some different screws to, um, to attach them. I want this end to be able to flush with the wall. So I'm not going to put the table legs there because well, they stick out a teeny bit. I think I'm just going to line them up with my cross timber here and simply screw them in place. I think it's going to do the same on the curved end. It's going to line them up with the cross section there and screw them in place. There you go, table ready. So how does it go? Should we put it in place? Sitting at the table, I must say, very comfy. Okay. This one is here as well. Looking at that, I showed you the crackling. I do think I might re-sand and repaint because I think that's going to annoy me after a little bit. So I uh, have to wait for this one to not be here. And then um, let's re-sand and repaint the top. I just need to the table down ready for another coat of paint but I really like the way it looks now where the paint sort of half centered off so I might just leave it like this well put a top coat on to uh, seal the table for outdoor use but have a look I think it looks really nice the table's got a really nice sort of wetted beach look now about it kind of loving this so I'm just gonna seal it now with the top coat if it doesn't work out we just can uh, repaint it again Let's just let that dry and maybe the table is finished, who knows?
I'm so pleased with my little table. It's just so lovely sitting here at the table with the dog and with Kiki and making this play, read books, also have our breakfast and dinners. And as you noticed, I painted the bench too. I really love this color. It's the same color as the table. It's the Antoinette from Annie Sloan. Only here it's two coats of the pure paint. Oh, hello. And on the table, I watered the paint down to get a little bit of a different color effect. This wall ain't gonna stay magnolia for much longer. I'm gonna paint it. This has been like a pain in my eye for like years now and I can't wait to change color. Hope you're gonna do that soon. So subscribe to my channel and click the little notification button not to miss out on any of the videos I'm doing for my deck makeover. We'll be back with a new video soon and I really hope to see you then. Bye bye! Bye bye! bye. See you soon! See you soon.